Hello folks, Bronco Bob here, and I'm selling my little CJ5. This is a trail-worthy Jeep. It's got a Dana 44 rear end, it's locked in the rear. Dana 30 in the front, and it's locked in the front. I just installed a new Borgeson steering shaft. And it's got a rebuilt PSC power steering box. It's got a smooth running six cylinder engine. Uh, it does have a new fuel pump. I just put this battery in there temporary. It's too big. I'm going to get the correct size. This Jeep's got some battle scars. It's got some dents and dings. Uh, the steering's been upgraded. It's got the heavy duty uh, drag link. Heavy duty bumper. Shackles on the front. The tires are new and probably have less than 100 miles on them. They're uh, TSL Swampers, 33 1250s. The drive line on the front is brand new from Fort Worth Gear and Axle. Like any Jeeps, they need they always need something. But this Jeep can be street legal. It just needs uh, the tail lights hooked up on the back. It's got a little toolbox in the back. It's been rhino lined. It's got twin stick shifters on the uh, transfer case. It's a Dana 300 with a grainy four speed uh, compound low transmission. And combined with the uh, 456 gears, it's, uh, it's pretty low, it really kind of crawls. It's got a nice roll cage that's tied into the frame. It just needs the side to be painted. It's just kind of primered. But like I say, it needs a little love. But it runs good and it gets the job done. If you want to run it down the highway, you can, but the tires are kind of rough and the gearing's pretty low, so you really can't go real fast. But if you're looking for a good hunting Jeep that you can drive to the store, uh, this would be a good one. And the power steering uh, really makes it nice. This particular year model has a fully boxed frame, so it's really a very strong frame off-road and the paint the paint's kind of rubbed off where the, the previous tires were rubbing I changed the wheels and the tires but it's just a it's a good old solid Jeep granny four-speed gears locked front and rear twin stick Dana 300 basically you put some tail lights on the back get them wired in and working you can drive it on the street uh, I've got a clear title or you can take it and use it for hunting on your hunting lease. Uh, the top is only just a bikini top. And then back here it's got the this little deal, I think they call it a duster. But it just kind of goes over the rear bed. The tailgate's still functional. If you got any questions, give me a call. I'm Bronco Bob and I'm wishing you happy trails.